Hey, what's going on guys? JD Sports Zone here, and I'm back. Sorry for the break, but I've been doing college work. I've been doing college classes because I'm in college, obviously. But I got some big news at the end of the video, which you guys should be, I hope you guys are excited about. Uh, I'm definitely excited for this opportunity. I would like to thank, um, well, what I'm going to say at the end. But before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe. We're on the road to 3.5K. Hopefully we can get there by end of September. But let's get in. But cue intro music. <laughs> Today, we got NFL hot takes. A lot of people think a lot of different things. And most of them I agree with. Uh, some of them I don't. But some of them aren't hot takes that people put in the comments. So I just came up with a couple of them that I found on Fan Sided. So the first hot take we got is Joe Burrow wins MVP. I don't think he wins MVP. You know, great quarterback, had a great season last year with the Bengals. They went 10-7 and seven in the regular season. And then, obviously, they beat Patrick Mahomes and Derek Carr to go to the Super Bowl. But, well, unfortunate for Bengals fans, they lost 23-20 to 20 in, well, Los Angeles. A uh, great Super Bowl to watch. I only watched the third and fourth quarter, but still a great Super Bowl. Joe Burrow, as I said, uh, easily a top 10 quarterback as well, but I do not think he wins MVP. In my opinion, I do believe it will be Josh Allen. He's got the star-studded Stephon Diggs, uh, underrated wide receiver in Gabe Davis as well, and a solid tight end in Dawson Knox. So, my opinion, and a lot of people's opinions, Josh Allen for MVP. Next hot take we got is Vikings win the NFC North. I do believe so. Even though that the Green Bay Packers have back-to-back -back MVP Aaron Rodgers, obviously he's a Hall of Famer, but with Devontae Adams gone and his number one target heading to Las Vegas, I do not think that the Packers win the NFC North. I do give it to the Vikings. I don't think Lions and Bears have a chance. Sorry, Lions and Bears fans. But I do not think uh, that they have a chance. But I give it to the Vikings. Kirk Cousins had a, a good season last year. Unfortunately, they came up short for the, for the playoffs. But he does have targets like Adam Thielen, who a lot of people think is washed. He is not. He had a great season last year. And Justin Jefferson, who had over 1K receiving yards last year as well. But I got the Vikings winning the NFC North. Next up, this is from one of the viewers. Panthers do well. Panthers go above 500, but don't make the playoffs. I don't think they go above 500, because they don't have a solid defense. Uh, I do think they should bring in, probably heading into the NFL trade deadline. But I do not think they go over 500. I do, at most, 7-10. and 10, At most, 7-10. and 10, But Baker Mayfield looking for revenge. Obviously, the Browns just dumped him off. Uh, and obviously the Browns made a terrible, terrible, terrible decision by letting him go. Deshaun Watson with all the cases, you know. Baker Mayfield will do well. They recently named him week one starter over Sam Darnold, both uh, top five draft picks in the 2018 NFL draft. But I definitely think Baker Mayfield will improve, and considering he is a top target in DJ Moore, I definitely think that the Panthers will do better than they did last season. But seven Well, that is all I got for you today. Should there be a part two? If there will be, make sure to comment below in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. Big announcement. Big announcement.
I am going to be part of the sports radio station. Yes, you hear that right at my college. I will be sending the link before the shows. I will be live on radio, on radio station. Tons of people watch. Please watch. Please join. Like and subscribe, obviously. And thank you so much to all the people at the radio station for allowing me and the other four people WIP program, which is basically like trainees, uh, for joining the radio station. I will be live on Mondays and Thursdays next week. I will let you know if I will be live personally, but if not, please still tune into the radio station and make sure to listen to it. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.